Okay, hi everyone. Um, today we're going to try a new game, which is called Discourse. Discourse. <laughs> um, it's a choice-based game where, depending on your actions, the game plays out differently. If I'm not mistaken, um, you can kind of finish it fairly quickly. It's like a session doesn't take all that long. So, we're apparently starting with someone called Rita, who is a female. And... not quite venti. <laughs> um, who is a barista slash artist so I have played like a few minutes so let's just start a new game yeah and okay okay let's see how that goes I think we're crashing on some island yeah here we go crash boom bang you can hear uh, the, the, the way they talk is kind of blah, blah 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 so it's not really talk, it's just like babbling, like sim style babbling. So, we are Mrs. Rita, and you just move with the, what are they called, WASD keys, you know. And you can check stuff by pressing the space bar. So, we're just gonna walk around a bit. And you can pick up stuff with a space bar. Trouble ahead! Let's check out. There are apparently some other survivors. Yeah, no, really. So this would be a choice, for instance. Let's go investigate or let them rot. And this is actually, I've played this part. Okay, that dude with the glasses is a bit weird. Okay, let's you know. I'm usually the go for it type. No need to prolong this thing unnecessarily. I think I'm inclined to help the redhead because the glasses dude was just really stupid. So. Okay, let's try to scare them. Okay, that worked. It's not like I'm a pacifist, but no need to bash poor little crabbies. Oh, oh! I think someone is going down. Ah, oh, but he survived, sadly. Okay, apparently there's some camp. Wow, I just woke up and they've already made a camp. Lol. Steve with the infinitely... Uh, infinitely... <laughs> with the infinite cigarette in his mouth. Or whatever that is. So... I kinda like the art style. Oh wait, do I have to talk to him? Yes, let's go. Good lord, someone just hit him with a frying pan. So, yeah, I was talking about the art style. Uh, I really like it. It's, it does not remind me of... Boy, I can't remember the game, of the game. Uh, what was it called? Survival game, sandbox style, don't starve. Um, it does not exactly remind me of don't starve because it's really different, but it's kind of, you know, the quirkiness is similar. So, uh, there's someone actually happy to see me. So I'm usually, when I play those games, I'm kind of nice and don't really do weird stuff. So actually, I'm pretty boring, I think. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Da, da, da. Okay, Jolene and George. Okay, weirdo. 
Yeah, he's gonna run off battery soon. Shouldn't we like work on getting like off the island? Okay, I think I'm gonna be a bit more daring and happily. I like Jolene's attitude. Hmm, not sure actually, but hey, YOLO, uh, let's go after it. Yeah. Yep, I am, and I hope you all die in the process. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about the ginormous grizzly bear that's. Oh, oh well, it's an island, okay. But like, some big dangerous animal like a dinosaur <laughs> well then you are gonna die I suppose uh, I guess they should hide <laughs> there's nothing to fight for I know it isn't right Oh boy, this promises to be interesting. I'm not sorry to leave Mr. Glass Eye behind. Because he was rather douchey to me. Okay, we got the boar. Approximately human sized. I can just hit him with my frying pan. <laughs> oh my god, she's really gonna do it. Okay. Like, if she flashed the camera, he's probably gonna run away. If George throws his pole, that might actually work if we throw a frying pan. I don't know if the pole could be useful for fishing. Although it looks a bit strange. I just throw my frying pan. Of course I can. I got this. I have a feeling this is gonna be going horribly wrong. <laughs> yep. Yeah, of course. It's not that far. I don't understand. Like, they want to eat the bear, a uh, boar, or they want to, like... I mean, is the boar running around with our snacks, or what? <laughs> yeah, maybe it was. Lesson learned. I'm probably not gonna get another shot. Okay. Let's just go back and see what happened. Probably all dead. <laughs> so sad. Oh. Okay, they're still alive. Actually, nothing. There's fire still going. Okay, may move yourself in another playthrough. I should probably stick around the camp. I really don't like Teddy. Ooh, which means if I had told them to defend the camp, it might have cost one or two lives, but at least we would still have our pretzels. That is true. Let's blame someone else. Yeah, let's just get some rest. I wonder if we're just gonna go start. Grab a torch, like... Here, oh, isn't that a fancy torch? Wait, guys, wait for me. 
Okay, didn't I just come from here? Okay, let's talk. Unfortunately. Well, let's be positive. I wonder how long this game actually is. Okay, so one is out. I think Jolene is probably not happy that I blamed her husband. Oh, she doesn't give a hoot. Huh. Yeah, I feel you. Next time I'll leave you. Uh, I'll leave the hunting to you. Wow, Jolene's actually really pissed. Okay, one more chat. I know who I don't want to talk to. <laughs> the guy I blamed. Oh, wait, no, wait. I want to talk to... To Redhead here. Steve. He's the only one who's remotely glad that I came. Ah, oh, let's cheer him up a little. A disillusioned sad little guy. Okay, let's say then. Zip, zip, zip. Will we wake up the next morning or will the torch burn me because it's lying right next to me and still burning? Day two. This kind of implies there will be a lot of days. Oh, that was the first night. Huh. Okay, this is how it usually starts and then, you know, people start insulting each other <clears throat> and suspecting each other of ulterior motives and then everything goes to hell. Oh god, this teddy dude. Someone please eat him. Guys, I have something for lunch. It's teddy roasted. Kentucky Fried Teddy. <laughs> So, order. I think water is pretty central, uh, since we're somehow in a desert or something. No, thank you, George. Although. Ah, I guess he's not pissed at me. And we happily leave Teddy behind to defend the camp and be eaten in the process. Oh, this is just great. This plays out exactly the way I want it to. And we are now roughly 40 minutes in. Well, you will find out soon, because battery... <laughs> Lol, it's kind of, you know, the typical gamer and the farmer dude in the middle forgot his name is the... Oh my god, this is important to you? This Garrett or whatever his name is, is kind of depressing. Okay, let's split up, I guess. Okay, so water. There are different ways to find water. And I think there was something about cacti and water. Oh! Oh, actually. 
Oh boy, there's no whole lot here. Okay, let's see what else. What kind of animal is that? <laughs> There's nothing here anyway, let's just go. And water, here we are. No, it was nothing, Garrett. Please jump into the pool and make sure you are the one being eaten by whatever's in there. Oh my god, they really sent him. Ah! Yeah, I'd rather not die, so it's... I wonder if the goal is like to kill everyone. Or, you know, I mean, not obviously, but to... If it ends when everyone is dead. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, leeches are not bad per se. They're used in medical routines. <laughs> that is true. Good point, Garrett. Ah, leeches! Okay. Well, at least the leeches seem to be off. Okay. To be fair, we only got three bottles, and we're a lot more people. <laughs> Duck tape. I don't think I'd be worrying about the airline right now. Oh god, I'm stuck down here. Well, uh, let me get out. Well, to be fair, you don't have to climb into the pool to get the water. Just dip the freaking bottle in the pool. Yeah, the strains of being a survivor. Hey guys, let's go, please. You see? Oh boy! Let's hope he doesn't faint. Actually, he's already messed up anyway, so if we need more water, we can just, you know... Hey Garrett, it's pool time. Water, please. Oh boy, he might not make it. He just hit his end. Hmm. Okay, saying that is not really <laughs> useful. Let's just get a move on, Garrett. Plus, no point in leaving him here. Although he might die of exhaustion once we reach the camp. Um, unhappy to see Teddy still alive. <laughs> Couple of leeches. <laughs> I wonder what the hell the others did again. Well, Teddy did nothing, so he technically doesn't deserve water. Oh, uh, what now? Okay, I guess it's Dodo time. And let's go to the sleeping side again. So I guess I can talk again to everyone. So she is the adventurer, not him. Oh boy, marital issues. Hey, let's be nosy. 
whole thing tomorrow night. Huh. Ah, <sighs> let's fan the flame of uh love. <laughs> Okay, he is out. Let's talk to my second favorite friend. Actually, I'm for sending Teddy all alone on his own. Ah, <laughs> oh, maybe. Okay, torch is too low. So you can only talk to three out of five people. So take your pick and maybe focus on them. The hands are just so funny. I love the the like. You say that crooked. Okay, day three, and we're all unfortunately still alive. Let's try to make it our mission to send Teddy on a absolutely hopeless death mission. Maybe you got infected with someone? So it was something. Okay then, I think. No, I'm definitely not going to do anything with Teddy. Okay. So, what does Mr. S Teddy do? Okay, Mr. Useless. See you later, alligator. International Lati Art Championship. Like where you make those tiny little artsy things in the cream of the coffee, I guess. All right, barista. Oops. <laughs> That's some life lesson, kids. Call a chain even worth it. At least not if you end up stranded on an island. I wonder what George does for a living. <laughs> I I have known people like that that needed to be forced to go on vacation. Oh, oh, that is a sure sign of needing a vacation. Oh boy, poor guy. I feel for you. Now let's check out. What we can't. Oh, shut up. I'm looking for clips. So, we said something about big piece of wreckage. Yeah, I'm Hulk. Not. <laughs> Uh, he could have just jumped over that piece? There's some rocket thingy emergency flares. Yeah, right. <laughs> Someone probably drank himself into a stupor. Oh crap! Oh no! No, no, don't die. I actually liked him. How can sand burn? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy. Well, see, he's alive. And his cigarette is, like, on fire. Oh, thank god. Would have hated to lose him. Ok, 
Okay, this could have gone very wrong. Hmm. Makes me wonder if we had an investigated plane, if it still would have gone up in flames. I guess not. Or maybe. Oh, Garrett. Why don't you try to be a little more positive? Of course no one is because you're a jack... Dude. <laughs> yep, last words of a plane crash survivor. I'm sure they're looking for us. Oh god. I think someone watched an episode too many of Lost. <laughs> That's actually a funny reference, if this is what they're getting at. I think I'm going to send Teddy to bed. Oh god. Well, maybe I can dispose of you now and you don't have to worry about it anymore. The, the nightly ritual. Everyone, please grab a torch. No wait, not everyone, just me. And let's discuss this further. Okay, this is insanely long. I mean, I thought it was just gonna be 50 minutes for the whole game. So I'm just gonna finish this and then wrap it up. Okay, let's stop this right here. What will happen? Will we find a better shelter? Or should we stay here? Or what does everyone think? More in the next episode of uh, Discourse. Island Survivors, or not. And will Teddy get killed? We will all know more in the next episode of Discourse. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and bye-bye.